Welcome back everyone. In this topic we will be showing you how easy it is to add a new chassis to your deployment. Now as your application grows and as your deployment grows we're going to start seeing a need for adding new chassis and new servers to the deployment. Now in the past this was pretty tedious. So how do we solve this problem? With our brand new domain profile through our Intersight dashboard. So let's simplify with Intersight. I have already created a domain profile, hence why I have some fabric interconnects, and a port policy that allows us to see an existing chassis. You can find a link to the videos for those in the description. Now the first thing that I want to show you is our fabric interconnect configuration. If I click over here on connections, scroll down here to chassis, we have an existing chassis already set up. Let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to add a new chassis. We're going to move over here to the policies tab on the left hand side where we can see all of the policies that are currently applied. Now we have a Cisco port policy. We're going to simply edit this policy and move through to the end here. At the end of this wizard it gives us the option of adding ports to this port policy. Keep in mind that whenever you do add the ports, we are going to have to configure those interfaces by clicking the configure button and also selecting what role those interfaces are going to be in. So we're going to go ahead and click save here. Click save on the policy. Now the next piece that is required is for us to go over here to the profiles tab on the left hand side and go ahead and redeploy that profile. What this is going to do is this is going to push down the configuration that we just updated in our port policy down to those fabric interconnects. After you've added that new chassis, up here you'll notice the requests tab. If we click on this, you'll note that we have blade discoveries going on. So if we go ahead and click on one of these blade discoveries, this is going to give our detailed information about what's going on inside that discovery. So with that, we see a progress, and we also see each one of the individual processes that are going on during that discovery. Let's go over here to the chassis tab and just verify that we do in fact now see a second chassis. Now with that being done, at this point, you have now successfully added a second chassis. I also want to make a mention that not only is this an easy process, it's also non-disruptive. Thank you very much.